Hey guys, I'm Anastasia from Happy Belly Fish and welcome to our healthy cooking channel. Today we are going to make together a salad. Now salad might sound really boring, but it's not. It's also a fantastic way to add some raw veggies to your diet. I love to eat salads as a light dinner or even as a snack. It really fills me up. And I also know a few tricks to add a hell lot of nutrition inside any type of a salad. Our today's salad is dedicated to broccoli. This salad doesn't really need that many ingredients and you can get really creative about what you put inside it. I'll show you some of suggestions from my side what I think tastes fantastic together. But keep in mind, the secret of any type of a salad is actually in the dressing, not that much in what exactly you put into it. If you pair in a correct way the vinegars, oils if you use some, yes, you can also make it easily oil-free, if you add specific spices, you will be really shocked of what kind of flavor you can achieve with a simple two three ingredient salad okay let's get started with our ingredients and the salad recipe itself for broccoli salad of course we need broccoli nice and fresh one like this one i actually got right from the market so it still has a lot of leaves and it was just freshly picked i will also use a tomato and a carrot surely if you only have a normal orange carrot go ahead and just use the normal orange carrot but i love to add a little bit of color and also some different type of nutrition that comes with red carrots together to this type of salad you can add any nuts or any seeds of your choice i love broccoli with almonds the most so i'm using just a handful of roasted almonds Make sure that you roast them before adding, because if you don't, the flavor of the almond will not come out that much in your salad. And now I'm going to show you the most important ingredients, the dressing. So the key for this dressing is balsamic vinegar. Honestly speaking, you can use any type of balsamic vinegar if it's flavored with something citrus, like lemon or orange, it works even better. The one that I have here is actually called red wine vinegar and it also goes amazing with broccoli. If you use the oil, you can take a couple of teaspoons of olive oil if you want to do completely oil-free salad dressing. This one also tastes good without any type of an oil, so this one is absolutely optional. I will also add some sweetness. What I have here is the wild Indonesian honey. It's not super sweet, it's actually a little bit fruity and even a little bit sour. If you want to take a vegan version of the salad, then I suggest you use maple syrup. We will also need garlic. I have two cloves of garlic, a little bit of salt. I'm using Himalayan pink salt. And one secret ingredient. Here is a dry herb. Can you guess which one? Well, this is dry mint. I love dry mint in salads. This inspiration comes from the Mediterranean cuisine. And by the way, if you want to learn more about different types of herbs that you can use in salad and in some absolutely unexpected dishes take a look at our mastery of spices course on happybellyfish.com and check out specifically our herbs masterclass now comes the easiest but the most important part the mixing of all of your delicious ingredients so first of all we need to cut the broccoli i'm just going to take off some florets you can also use a knife for this if you want tip from my side about the no waste nutritious cooking you can actually cook the stem of the broccoli you can add it to soups for example or you can mash it with some other type of vegetable like a potato and it will also taste amazingly so please don't throw this one away but use it in your cooking i'm going to use it in the soup afterwards in this recipe we will only need the florets now let's just put it aside in the bowl Oop, one is left now let's peel and cut our carrot. This carrot goes right into the bowl to the broccoli. Now let's cut the tomato. So actually the flavor of your salad will depend a lot on the type of the tomato that you use. The smaller and more kind of orangish red tomatoes are usually more acidic in flavor and this one, as you can see, it has a lot of flesh, not that many seeds. So it has kind of sweetish and thick flavor. And we just cut it in tiny 
pieces. And the last ingredient that we are going to add, the hard ingredient, is the almonds. Which is going to make them in a little bit smaller pieces and add to the top of the salad. The flavor is coming out. I really love it that, you know, when you cut this freshly roasted nuts, it smells amazing. All right. Ta-da! We're adding it also to our magic bowl. And now let's make the dressing. So the classic way is to make a dressing in a separate bowl, mix all the ingredients together and then pour them over the salad. We're going to use a little bit of a different method because I suggest that when you make a broccoli salad, as broccoli is quite a hard ingredient, you marinate it a little bit. We will add the herbs of choice. I'm using dry mint. So put it on top, it's about two tablespoons. The flavor will be really strong. And now I'm going to add the garlic. So I have this nice garlic press and I'm going to put my two cloves inside. And just squeeze it right into my salad. Ta-da! I'll take the help of the knife and I'll mix my salad. This is going to be the very first mix. Okay, so hopefully our ingredients, including garlic and mint, are nicely distributed. And now is the time to add the balsamic vinegar. How much you add of your vinegar really depends on the strength. So in my case, I will add about three to four spoons, teaspoons. And I will also add some salt. And the last key ingredient is the sweetener. Don't add too much of it because you just want to have a hint of a sweetness. You don't want to have an overpowering sweetness flavor. We mix it again. I'm going to tell you a secret right now. Not sure if all of you are gonna like it. But if you really want the flavors to get absorbed in your broccoli, you're gonna massage it with your own hands, not with a fork and spoon. And I'm going to do it right now. Just make sure that your hands are clean. And if some people have issues with it, don't tell them. At this point, tomato will be giving some juice already and it will be blending with the vinegar and with the salt and with mint and with garlic and with honey. Oh my gosh. I can smell every single ingredient of this dressing. That's it. You can pretty much eat it like this. I would recommend that you keep the salad aside for at least half an hour so that it gets marinated and it really absorbs all the goodness. If you can't wait, go and have it right away. But if you want to add some oil, now is the right time to do it also. So in my case, I will add a few drops of olive oil because I really like the smoothness that it adds to my salad. If you love this recipe, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You'll get amazing, easy and delicious recipes from our healthy kitchen. We cook all types of vegetables in the ways that you could never imagine.